Hello, bonjour. It's a lovely day in France again today, so I thought I'd share my latest journal with you. I found this amazing French vintage fabric with these images of aristocrats all over it. And I thought that would make a great sort of softback notebook that could easily be carried around. So I've added some vintage lace at the top and a little more lace here and some gold brocade to go with the aristocratic images. And then I've made a pendant with a, a crown on it. And this comes from um, a lovely old dictionary, lovely and old, but well abused by the last owner. So I had no qualms in tearing this one apart and using it. As you can see, it's been colored in beautifully yuck anyway uh, this is dates back to 1899 so beautiful genuine antique with lovely little images in it that are great for making pendants like this so that's where that comes from and if you did find this too heavy to carry around it's really not but it's on a pin so you could always take it off and that just closes with a nice little bit of elastic that's attached with a, a brad and a ribbon at the back inside we've got a lovely original piece of sheet music and this is from 1898 you can actually see where it goes through to the back uh, the date is here copyright for the british empire back in the day in 1898 so that's that and then we've got a nice bit of hessian i love touchy feely things so this is crinkly lovely tea and coffee dye paper throughout as well and lots of space for writing because i think that's very important uh, just a few childhood images because I found this beautiful picture. Um, this little girl cutting up her mother or father's best books and it reminded me of me really. But there we go. Um, and this is from a fantastic old book, which is this. Again, it was in it was a wreck. It was actually soaking wet when I got it. And it's dried out, but it's never gonna recover. And this one's from what you can just see there, 1884. It's a shame it's in pieces, but there you go. It does not mean that we can use it and it has a new life. So that's that page there. And then on the back, I've just done a little, found some old French cotton and done a little hand stamped image there. More coffee and tea type signed paper. I can't speak straight today. And we've got a page from uh, a 1930s Robinson Crusoe book. I've actually already used this one and made it into a journal. So that's, this is this was the book that's that one and so i've added some sort of sea themed images for good old robinson crusoe and here as well lots more writing space and again and then we have this lovely page from another old book and this is a memento la russe which is by the same person as or the company as the dictionary uh, and this one i can't remember the date but i do have it written down and it's like a little mini encyclopedia and that comes from there. I have these lovely pot images, so I thought I'd add a little tag here to complement that. And then on the back, it's got lots of weights, and I just thought for a bit of contrast, something really heavy, something really light. So here's a beautiful dragonfly image, and I've done a little tuck pocket to match the paper at the top. And then we have um, this. I love this snail image. I didn't want to give this one away. But they say if you love something and you give it away, so this is what I'm doing. And this comes from a 1946 book, Zoology and Botanique, which again I've also made into uh, another journal. And this is the lovely snail page from inside, so I've had a little shell image there. And another one here, oops. And lots more writing space. And then we go on to birds, and this is from another encyclopedia, beautiful one, from the 1970s this time, which is horrifically a long time ago now, even though I remember it well. And this has some lovely bird images, and I've included a particularly pretty one here, and a sort of matching image over the other side, and then a pretty little notepad that I've made with bird images inside, and lots of vintage papers inside handy little notepad here there we go so that's that tucks in there and then on the back we have a lovely penguin image so i thought yeah, let's do that then we go on i've got a another page from the dictionary that i showed you at the beginning 
and it has some beautiful little animal images so I thought I'd have an animal in, image here. I really can't speak today. <laughs> and then we've got some um, onion skin and avocado dyed paper which I really love. I think that's such fun. So I've left that plain for lots of writing on and then I've made a little tuck pocket and I've made a, a little gift tag here from another old book of course and this one is Le Grand Sauveteur which is a sort of late 19th century book all about heroes and it's got beautiful thick paper which is fantastic for gift tags and I've actually if we flip through I've done another one here a little Matryoshka doll those go there and then in the middle is this lovely original centre page from a book called Les Gens de Bon Volonté a lovely old book from the 1890s which again it didn't even have a cover when I found it but it's here so I'm sharing it around the world and there it is lovely lovely paper and then another little image from the dictionary and it had a ship's mast so I thought let's do a little compass again on some vintage cotton so that's there and we've got another bird image lovely pelican and so I took the commentary about the pelican and made another little notepad and tied that on with matching colour and made this into a little pocket and inside, again, complementary colours, this lovely 2013 Parisiana magazine postcard. And on the back, I've written all the dates and details about what's in the journal. And so that tucks in there nicely. And some more writing space, another bird image. And back from the zoology book, I love this as well, the squid image. So I've taken the squid page from the dictionary to match it. And more squids, little turtles. And then had a bit of fun here. Uh, this is from the encyclop encyclopedia page. And it's all about mathematical equations and problems or logic problems and things. And I thought, well, what came first, the chicken or the egg? So included that. I hope you see where I'm going here. <laughs> and then on the back, it's got these lovely sums. So I thought I'd do a, a sheep in the, in, the, in the field image. I could be losing my mind or you might be following me. I don't know, but it was fun. And then a little, more, a little bit more Robinson Crusoe, beautiful shell image here. And lots more writing space, another shell, little tuck pocket, nice little French stamp. And another page from the St. Nicola book. And this is just some beautiful um, black velvet ribbon, which is such a touchy for you book. Really love that. And then on the back, <clears throat> excuse me, I this little note brad to go with the music and a little bird image. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.